Right, we're on another job today, some more cut ups. Um, I don't know if I'll film today. Block and brick, sort of old style. Uh, it's mix your own in here, so don't think I could be asked to film if I'm going to mix me on gobble. Um, Mel's been messed at week, she's just hot today off, so yellow bricks, fucking yellow ones, a couple holes in. Try to bring me cutter tomorrow. Got no cut, I've got to do all my own cuts and that, so a bit old school, so I'll see. Might set it, might put the uh, might put camera on. Uh, head cam for time, you know, for a bit of bit of head cam maybe. We'll see. I'll film this over a couple of days, so. Right, see you in the next one. Right, that's one loaded. So it is uh, it's half ten. I'm gonna put half a tub on I think. See how this big this mixer is and how much it gets how much it gets me. Uh, per gauge as they call it. But fucking hell, I haven't used a mixer in about fucking dunno. Nine years since we're at college. <laughs> so yeah. Right. I'll see you in uh, the next clip. I'm not really going to do any recording. First day, fucking, no matter how simple the job is, on the first day you've got a fresh environment, and that's taking fresh information. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pod on, we'll go get mixing. Right, Mel's coming back at half, half 12, one o'clock for me, for snap, about half an hour. I'll work all about four o'clock, so that's how that's fully loaded to the top as you see. It's only nine costs a block high, so Alright for my first fucking mix in a mixer in fucking as long as I can remember. Fucking I think I did bad there. What was alright? Let me use my actual hand. So I feel what it feels like. For, for, for solid blocks, it's a bit wet for solids, but for brickwork. It's different, it's lighter. Well, we'll see. See how we go. See how fast it goes off as well. Right, a bit wetter because I think I'm going to leave some of it, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's try to put a few course on. See what we like. Right, so it's one o'clock. I feel what I got done. Not much. Only about fifty odd blocks. Um, Gobo was well too wet. Got it too wet today. But uh, first day, I've been to load up all by myself. Putting a mix in, um, sand were a bit wet, but to be quite honest, I just didn't let it mix long enough. I was trying to just speed it up by fucking putting more water in, so yeah, I managed to get five quarts of block though, so I'll show you. So we've got five quarts of block on, but we've got a big damp, well, it's a, they haven't got any 450, so it's always 600, and you end up cutting it down, which is about like, so we've got 600 on there. Um, I know it's tray, my, my wee pole light for my tray. So yeah, I've got about the little tubs, the little red tubs, so I've got like half of one of them left. I'm going to build some corners after snap each side, because there ain't any, you got to do all your cuts yourself, so I'm going to bring some lat in tomorrow, put a string line down, put on, bring my string line, I've got some some lats and extra string line at home, so I'm going to set that up tomorrow, I'm going to just leave my cuts off, same on my block, because I can't be bothered to cut them with hammer and bolster, because just a nightmare. I'll, I'll use I use the cutter. I normally just cut one side and then they snap nicely. Uh, the other side, so I'll uh, I'll do that. I'll probably try get a bit of head cam after snap building some corners, and that'll be the day done. I reckon. Um, I don't think I'll put another mix on, but I'll have to wash mixer. So I'll bring get my scrubbing brush um, if I can find it. My scrubbing brush and uh, get a fucking. Oh, I'll have a look. In. Let's have a look. I don't know. I use a sponge, fuck knows. Ah, I've got my scrubbing brush here. Yeah, my rough, my rough dustpan brush. Scrub mixer out before I leave. Some water. I fucking poured it onto the floor this morning. I should have used another tub, but yeah. Right. I'll see you in the next clip. So it's quarter past three. I've got my corners up. I'm doing bringing my cutter tomorrow to tidy that up. But I just do it with. Uh, with the trowel for a minute. Fucking, I can't catch a break with these expansions. Right in the middle of the fucking gable. Oh well. I'm loaded up now. All the gobbos are used up. I've got a bucket full there. Should only take me 45 minutes an hour to use that maybe. Should be starting to get dark. I'll point up and point back of that up. I need to point that top course. 
Um, but yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna do some head cam now. That's what I look like on scaffold. If you see like a weird fucker with an head cam on, on scaffold, it could be me on your next job. Right, see you in the next, see you in the time lapse. Or well, head cam. Hey guys, welcome to the voiceover part of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed that little bit of raw footage uh, with the sound on. When I'm on a quiet site like this, I can crank the volume uh, right up on the internal microphone and get a pretty good reading of, you know, the sound of the trowel and the motor and just everything. Uh, when you're on a busy site, when there's a lot of plant going past, it, all the beeping and the reversing sirens and stuff like that, 
it's hard to get some good footage but when i'm on a small job like this where i'm like the only bricklayer there um it's nice it's nice so um yeah you've seen i'm on sort of a traditional style top out with block and brick uh, uh, no barge board or anything like that just you know string line down cuts on uh you know old style I, we used to do these years ago um with a hammer and chisel uh and using a brick hammer on these like you know hot, uh, bricks with holes in uh but i've got a cutter um gonna be doing those uh all the block cuts and the brick cuts with a cutter i just find it's quite a lot easier um i'm getting hang uh of putting you know getting the gobble out a bit quicker i think it only took me about 15 minutes today to get a full tub we're using uh one of the big mixers like a big you know mixer on, on wheels um you know it's mixing your own gobbo uh, we get a little bit extra for doing it on this job um but it's not too much of a task you know and it's the the, the gear that comes out of a mixer is a lot better than you what you get out of most silos um what you find what you'll find i think with um depending i don't know if it depends on the sand or the cement uh, or the amount of uh, feb or plasticizer but i've always found plasticizer makes uh you know makes better mortar than sort of normal feb um i know you can use the powder stuff there's liquid stuff but i i find you know big barrels of liquid plasticizer work really well um i'm probably getting your mortar a little bit on the wet side you know i got it a bit stiffer today uh and it was good except you know it came two hours after I put it in. And we lost a little bit of time on the second day, which is Tuesday. Uh, this footage is Monday, but the the day where Mel was back was Tuesday. Um, and that stiffened up pretty quick. Whereas uh, if I'd have got it a bit wetter, it would have been all right still. So, you know, I'd say I probably prefer mixing my own mortar over, um, over silo. And probably over any mix, really. You know, if I was getting, if I was getting a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, extra than what I'm getting, I'd probably mix my own all the time, just because, you know, you know, if you, if I can get a tub, a full tub out in 15 minutes, you know, tops, I'm going to use two tubs a day, um, and it's lighter as well, it's lighter to use. It, it just feels easier to use than uh, unless, and it's not sticky. It just comes off the trowel nice, but obviously when it goes off, when it starts going off, it goes a bit more sandy than uh, than the silo stuff. Silo stuff just stays sticky, and it's it's not always nice to use. Uh, I I know when I go on and after this, you know, job's done in a week or two, um, uh, you know, I'll be back probably on somewhere where it's silo already mixed, and it'll be a bit of a shock again. So I don't understand why people like mixing their own. And um, if you've got a labourer who can do it for you. You know, it's a bonus. Um, Mel doesn't do any of the mixing because not even I can go do, do a good mix, let alone Mel. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, you can see in this video, uh, I'm doing the pick and dip still, but I'm doing a little bit of a variation. I call it the front tip pick and dip. And it's something uh, that I was doing, you know, about six months ago uh, or more when I was on the, doing a lot of the boundary wall stuff. If you look in my shorts, uh, my YouTube shorts on here, on this channel uh, you'll see me doing the front tip pick and dip um, it's basically a variation of doing you know putting a spread down and normally like a medium spread not super long uh, because obviously on clay bricks and ready and uh, you know a mix of mortar goes off pretty pretty quickly on top of you know top of dry bricks you know at least and you know I try to pick and dip but if the joints you know, are presented a little bit bigger as they do sometimes. Not not because of the bond necessarily. The bricks can be very variant on clay bricks. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm gonna put that front tip on, put that front tip, and then I'm still dragging the brick back as if I was doing a pick and dip. But you know, it's filling that joint up a little bit more. Um, uh, you know, and it makes everything easier to join. These bricks, in particular, these buff bricks, you can't really make a bad job of them. The one of them bricks where you just run your jointer through them, sponge, boom, you know, top it, you know, gets all your topping and tail, and it looks, it looks really nice to be honest. Um, which you know, I find that 
you know, from going from laying concrete bricks constantly back to these, it, you know, it makes a massive difference. You know, uh, speed wise as well, you can just lay them a lot quicker. As you can see in this, you know, even in this small amount of footage I've got for you guys, you know, I lay about two hundred bricks. I think I did seven course, um, which you know, probably just two hundred bricks, maybe, um, you know, maybe a tad more. Uh, but it just, you know, you can get, and that was only in 40, 45 minutes it took me to do that, 200 brick. Um, obviously, I'd already built the corners, so take that off of it. But, um, you know, running into profiles with clay bricks, a lot quicker, a lot quicker. And I, and I do like these bricks with holes in, to be honest, because they do go down a lot easier, I find. Um, not probably quite as good to pick and dip, but if you have a stiff enough, a stiff enough mix and if you... On like a silo mortar where it's a bit stickier, a bit stodgier, um, you know, it's probably easier to pick and dip with. Um, but yeah, um, after the second day, you know, mixing my own gear, I've, I'm, I'm sort of using between a tub and a tub and a half. So, dep I think tomorrow, uh, depending on what time we get to site, and if we don't lose any time, you know, with getting gear, we're a bit slow getting his gear this morning. Um, I might put a tub, uh, you know, a gauge and a half, so uh, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I presume a gauge means full, uh, you know, a full mixer full, a mixer full basically is a gauge, and uh, this mixer gets you half a tub, so uh, if I do a mixer and a half, that'll get me, you know, a three quarter tub, and that's what I'm, that's what I think I could use comfortably, um, on a morning um but we'll see we'll see how things go um because you know it does it is taking 15 20 minutes to put a mix in i don't like to have to because you have to start start the mixer up uh get your get your buckets of water take your shovel down you know so depending depending on that you know i sometimes just try to get you know you know, two big mixers full, and that will probably normally get me a full day because of the fact I'm laying blocks as well. Like tomorrow, I'll be doing a few cuts in the morning for an hour, then block work, and then I'll probably spend the remainder of the day on brick. But if I really, really try and brim the tub, you know, it should last me all day, you know, um, especially, if, especially if I get the bottom a little wetter and add a little bit more feb to it. It normally keeps a bit longer, so... Because... Um, it's all about how you do your mix, depending on how, how long it lasts, and especially in winter, you know, with the with the with the colder weather, it does tend to last a little bit longer. So, uh, just a little bit of a bit of info there. I might try film myself putting uh, putting a mix in just to show you guys how I do it. It's not really rocket science, but um, you know, some people like it. You know, a bit different, and I think it can also to do with the sand and the cement, the type of sand or the type of cement you're using. Everything that goes into a mix of mortar can make it very, very different depending on what you're doing. So, uh, this stuff hasn't been bad at all. It lasts, you know, this tub, even I've got it, you know, relatively workable. It lasted all day. Um, you know, it lasted, you know, I say all day, about six, seven hours. So, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's doable. It's definitely doable with mix of mortar, you know, as, as a, you know, a small, ga small brick layer. Uh, small gang, one brick layer like myself, you know, a tub can normally do you, you know, uh, if you brim it, it seems on the, on silo mortar I'm using a bit more, you're normally doing two tubs or tub and a half, I don't know, I'm probably not quite as quick, I don't, I'm probably just not putting in the hours that I do in summer, um, well, the, or should I say lighter nights, where the, when the light, when it's lighter, so, I'll see. I'll see. I'll probably not really do. I'm probably not doing that much more. Not doing that much work, uh, really. But we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the test. The test because I'll have like a full, another full day starting laying fresh. Um, well, hopefully, if I can get a full day starting laying, we'll see how much I use then. Um, so that should be good. Um, yeah. So that's that's pretty much the video for today. Um, I don't think I'll do any videos of me doing the cuts because it's just a lot of, you know, cutter work. Um, oh, I always recommend as well, this is depend, you know, whether it's a barge board, facial and soffit cut, cut up, all these traditional styles always run, 
you know, um, you're straight in first. I find it's a lot easier, especially if you, you know, there's two of you, two Brit layers, you know, um, you know, running all the straight stuff first, and then you know, each one of you does one side of the cuts at the end. You know, I find you get it up a lot quicker. Uh, but the dynamic is different, so obviously, you know, I don't have a lot of experience working as a two on one. Me and my dad teamed up with another bricklayer, um, you know, early last year, and it didn't go very well, so I won't ever be doing that again. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I can't tell you how much more money you can make as a as one bricklayer, you know, um, you know, if you're fast, you know, it, it is down to speed, but. Um, obviously with a, lot, with a lot of the stuff I do on YouTube, you know, showing, you know, cutting, you know, showing people different ways of doing things, unconventional in a sense, because, you know, what I'm doing here, we're putting the, um, putting the spread down with no grooves in, a lot of guys, are, you know, they frown at, or they come up and look at me and go, that's not right, and you say, well, there's, there's three giant holes in each one of these bricks, and that's where the mortar's going, so why would I want to it's gonna go there when I press the brick down. Why would I want to, you know, help it go down with the uh, with grooves and extra time spent v in the spread? So, you know, it's just it's just one of them things. And I think it's a big. It makes it um, it makes it a lot harder if you work with another brick layer and you start changing the way you do things. And they say, "Why are you doing that?" And then you and you go, you know, you at the end you end up, you know, there can be. You know, some argument over how things should be done. And I suppose on your own, you know, you can have your plan in place and follow it to a T and hopefully, you know, do it do it quicker, uh, one method to another. Because the, the method, you know, the method you do, you build something, even if it's, you know, something as simple as this cut up, like a straight, straight run of brickwork, the method you do it in can make a big difference. And uh, I think that's important. That's important to know. Uh, when to do things a certain way and when to change your method and and do something different uh so yeah uh but yeah in this uh, today today being the tuesday i'm doing the voiceover i did actually i didn't you could probably put profiles on these cut-ups but i'm not doing that because um just because of the mortar the mix of mortar goes off so quick on these bricks i prefer just doing the corners so um i've been doing corners a nine uh, a nine brick uh, corner at the bottom obviously rack back reducing uh, with the six foot level so it gets you nine course per corner and these top outs which are normally reaching about 25 26 bricks because the first course of bricks level with scaffold board um you know nine three you know nine threes are 27 so probably three nine course corners gets you um you know nine course racks nine course pyramids whatever you want to call it gets you gets you right to the top and uh and it's good because what I do is I'll build the nine course corner, move out the way Melgos and joints it while I start building the other one, and then vice versa. And you get, you really like requires less boards as well. Because uh, I was getting half my gobbo today. I got I got all the bricks because Mel couldn't really get past it, a bit tight on the corner. And then I got half the gobbo. Um, I only needed about 100 and odd extra bricks. And Jesus, it makes a massive difference with. Uh, the you know the weight of these clay bricks over concretes it just makes the day go just the day is so much easier uh, and in and to be quite honest concrete blocks I'd probably you know I find them easier to lay if it wasn't for me actually getting the gobble white piss on in this clip um, in the morning like it don't look too bad now laying these bricks but in the morning it was really wet and laying those conny blocks Jesus you know it made it a bit tedious but if I'd have got the mortar a bit better. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no issue really with those Connie blocks. Uh, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people feel the same way. They'd rather lay Connies over, over thermal lights. You know, thermal lights have their own unique bit of awkwardness to them. But, um, but yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching the voiceover part of the video. I've got a time lapse coming up next. If you enjoyed the video, hit the, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you uh, want to stick around and. Uh, and uh, see the few videos I put out a week, you know, uh, bit laying uh, on the, on new build housing sites. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next clip. Yeah.
that's it. We got uh, fucking six cars or something like that. Six cars in there, about 200 brick, uh, 50 odd block, you know, roughly, roughly that. Not a bad day. It's not a bad day at all, actually. What's that? About 230 quid. I reckon I've earned today for, on my Todd for uh, half eight arrival, half four leave. So I'm just going to swirl a bit of water around the mixer and leave these down here for, uh, down there for tomorrow. Right, see you in the next one. That's it. Sat again by the road waiting for Mel to pick me up. It's half four. Managed to get off at Scaff, get down for half four. Oh, God. God, Mel can't have this many days off again. Knackered. Alright. See you in the next clip. No, enjoy the video. That's a full video, I think. See you later. Didn't film today. Uh, it's half three. Uh, this is what I got done. Hello there. <laughs> so yeah, we got it up. Just got to do it cuts tomorrow. Uh, lats are all on. Bird boxes in. Yeah. Alright, see you in the next clip.